and Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. We are conquerors, we are conquerors. We are conquerors, we are conquerors. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. We are winners, we are winners. We are winners, we are winners. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. Hi guys, welcome to this channel and today has been a very, very hot day in our country, Kenya. And actually it was a very tiring day, a lot of activities, a lot of work to do, but we thank God it has ended and uh, we have arrived home safely from the capital city of Kenya, Nairobi, that is where I work. And uh, today we are going to listen to the people, to the country we all love. Jamaicans in the house, one one, how are you? How was your day? Because I understand Jamaica and Kenya, it is the same time zone. And therefore I know during the day in Jamaica, it is during the day in our country, Kenya. Today, we are going to talk about our sisters and our brothers in the land we all love. The land of Jamaica. And we are going to talk to, about this country in relationship to our girl. Because today is about winning. Today is about victory. Today we are not going to talk about anyone. <laughs> Guys, today I want us to celebrate Dimwango. The achievement of Dimwango. And what has made her to go this far. What has uh, motivated her? Who are the most, uh, the greatest contributor in her success? In her victory? That is what I want us to look at today and uh, that is why i've started the video with the dance of victory <laughs> because ah this is the day that the lord has made that we may rejoice that we may be happy because when our girl wins we know our victory is on the way when you celebrate others your victory is on the way when you are happy about the blessings of others yours is on the way and therefore today i want us to celebrate the jamaicans in the house, the people of Jamaica, the great nation of Jamaica, the wonderful people of Jamaica, the most loving people I've ever come across. The reason why I'm saying this, I'm going to take you through the achievement of Dimwango. And the greatest achievement of this woman was God when she landed in the land of Jamaica. Guys, these people are loving. These people are just good. These people are supportive. And they don't even care where you come from. Because when Dimwango reached Jamaica, no one knew, knew her. Actually, maybe she had been connected to Christmas Trisk by Ayamaro. But when the Christmas Trisk introduced her to the Jamaicans, Kino, life in Jamaica, and others, she got immense support, immense love, immense, I don't know what I can, how I can describe it. And the journey of Dimwango in Jamaica was her greatest breakthrough. It was her, it was her greatest achievement. Guys, do you know that Dimwango channel was moving very slowly in terms of subscription? even as she moved from one country to the other in the Europe. But when she landed in Jamaica, the channel skyrocketed from where it was to more than 400,000 subscribers. What an achievement. We really celebrate you, the people of Jamaica. We thank you for your support. We thank you for your love. We thank you because you are a great people. And by the way, even before I go to the achievements of the Mwango. Do you know, Anko, the Anko who arrived in Marwa's Vira is from Jamaica. Can you see how generous he is? Can you, see, can you see how humble he is? Can you see how down to earth he was? How he is ready to support people from the ashes and lays them up. He bought uh, cameras for those people in Yambohanse who could not afford 
the GoPro camera. Actually, they uh, Akina Masubo, they really benefited from this visit. He gifted people until all of us, even the enemies, were left opening their mouth. <laughs> they could not fathom it. <laughs> they could not understand it. And they were left wondering. Actually, this, they started criticizing the uncle from Jamaica <laughs> and talking about that uh, they don't know the objective of this uncle. They don't know what he's up to. They started criticizing because when these people see the goodness of a person, they convert it, they change it, they twist it to something else. So that is a good example of how the Jamaican people can be supportive, can be generous, can be humble, can be loving. All those words. So Dimwango landed in Jamaica and she was, uh, the channel was moving very, very slow in terms of subscription. When she landed in Jamaica, guys, the subscription were immense. She moved up to 400,000 subscribers, more than, let me talk about more than, because now, as I checked, maybe uh, during the day, it was 428,000 subscribers. The support the Mwango got in Jamaica, she has never gotten it in any other country. And actually, she says so. She got a lot of love, a lot of support, a lot of deals in Jamaica. And by the way, I don't understand why the haters cannot see these achievements. Because when the Mambo came from Jamaica to Kenya, she started doing some projects, like buying the mom a BMW, renovating the mom's house, buying the equipment she thought were necessary for the house, installing the, the solar panel, buying the fridge, buying the cooker, doing all sorts of things. And when she started traveling, she booked a business class and we have seen her in different hotels in different countries. Actually, the first time Dimwango went to Jamaica, by the way, she could sleep in hostels. And I'm sure you followed her and you could see most of the times she was sleeping in hostels. Because the hotels were too expensive. And by the way, traveling is not cheap. And for this lady to make it to travel by air, to make it to travel and book hotels, she's having money, <laughs> dollars. <laughs> and this achievement was attained in Jamaica. She won, she was able to reach more than 400,000 subscribers. She got some deals, and actually, I'm sure she got a lot of a lot of views from uh, Jamaica, and therefore a lot of good pay from YouTube. And that is why we can say we can see her life has actually transformed. We saw her in Monaco, and the haters were there saying bra bra bra. I don't want to repeat it because I've said it in the video before this one. They could not understand how this young girl from Nyambohanse, how this poor girl from Nyambohanse, how this Habu girl from Nyambohanse was able to sleep in very big hotels. We could see her having supper, having a breakfast of her choice. It is uh, actually choosing whatever she wants to eat. And we could see her shopping clothes, shopping jackets, shopping shoes worth a lot of money and one of the haters could not believe that these are the blessings you know sometimes god directs your step to your destiny connectors because by the way you don't choose uh what country to go in other words your minds can select but it is god who directs your thoughts and your plans to the right place so God directed the Mwango to go to Jamaica where her breakthrough, where her destiny changed. So we have seen her doing a lot of shopping in Monaco and a lot of shopping in wherever she has been going. And we also saw her riding a helicopter in Monaco. 
On top of that, when she was coming from where she was coming from to go to UK, you know, guys, <laughs> those are news now. This woman is now in the land of the queen. <laughs> She's in London. She landed, I don't know whether it is today because of the timing in Kenya and the timing in UK. She landed in England a few days or even today, I don't know, because of the time difference. She is in the Queen's land. And before she went there, she did a lot of shopping. Then she entered a business class. She bought herself a business class ticket and uh, traveled all the way to London. And we saw her with Kino's sister. We really appreciate the people of Jamaica. You are such a great people. You are such a supportive people. You are such a loving people without jealousy, without competition, without all those. You just chose to support the Mwango. You just chose to remove her from where she was to where she is now. We really salute you. We love you back. Just like the mother keeps keep on saying, she loves you. And it is genuine love. Because I tell you, I've never seen people who can support another person who does not belong to their land, whom they don't know in such a great way, in such a great manner. And even when you are incited by the haters, you don't listen to them. You cross your ears, you cross your eyes, and you want to see this lady succeeding. You want to see this lady moving from one level to the other. Who can do that? You are not relatives, you are not, the, the, you are not from Kenya, but you have decided to support this woman. You have decided to change her destiny. You have decided to uplift her. And therefore, I really, really appreciate you. And I hope one day, because dreams are varied, I will come and visit your land and I will love it so much because I realized there is no great people like the people of Jamaica. They don't choose who to support. They don't choose how to support. They just decide to support someone and they support them with all their hearts without any, without any drawbacks, without turning back. So to the haters who are speaking, who are spreading rumors, who are saying a lot of things. The breakthrough of Bimwango was actually Jamaica. And we saw her moving from one, what do they call them? States. No, they don't call them states. There is a word they use. From one state, let me use the word state, though I know it's not state. From one state to the other. And she could show us the beautiful land of Jamaica, the great people of Jamaica, the great physical features of Jamaica. And therefore, even before we land, even before we come to your land, we have fallen in love with your land, we have fallen in love with your people, they are great people. And we pray that God may enlarge you, that God may bless you, that God may fight your battles. That God may come through for you. Just like you have, you have come through for this girl. May the Lord come through for your children. May the Lord come through for your generation. May the Lord come through for your relatives. And may that town where she was, Kings, I think it's called Kings, Kingsworth. There is a town where she went where Kino was actually assisting the poor people. May God visit that town to be a different place, to be a tourist destiny. And actually Jamaica has become a tourist uh, destiny. We have seen many, many YouTubers coming to visit the land of Jamaica because they have seen the great people of Jamaica. They are welcoming, they are warm, they are loving, and that is why you are attracting so many people to come from different parts of the world to visit you. And therefore we say kudos to you, we celebrate you, we are happy the way you treated the mango, we are happy the way you have uplifted her eyes, we really thank you, we really appreciate you, and we pray 
that God may come through, through for you just like you did it for the mango. And I think this video will be very short because I'll stop at that. May God bless you. See you during the next video and bye bye.